your dad died tragically when you were like five years old, maybe? Yeah, five. Uh, which is awful. And, and he was a successful actor in, in yeah. England, yeah. very well known, like a super famous guy in England. Super, I cannot stress to you how famous he was in terms of it being the 70s and there being maybe three television channels. And right. he was in, you know, two or three of the most iconic comedies of the period and everybody loved him. You know, he was just incredibly beloved and died very suddenly and... Heart um, attack. Heart attack at 31, which was... 31 oh, years old. You lose, yeah. and you've, you're five and you lose this, this charismatic father. Yeah. That, I it mean... Was awful. And, and in terms of how famous he was, it was, I remember confusing when John Lennon died and when my dad died because people were standing in the street with the evening paper sobbing on both occasions. And I, I can't remember which version of that is which because they were very similar. It was really, wow. really intense. But only in England. So yes, obviously John Lennon impacted absolutely every country in the world. My dad, it was it was very much England. Did your mother remarry? She did, yeah. She met my stepdad uh, when I was nine and he was a director and moved in with my mum and brought his enormous amount of children, which I was kind of shook by. And, uh, and yeah, and it's great and they're still together. So. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. He must be blown out by your success, you know? He's wild. He, I, I really lucked out with him. He's the best. I mean, we had some, you know, rough couple of years getting adjusted, but um, no one's been a bigger, bigger champion. Like, I really do feel lucky that I got, you know, got to cuckoo in to that. A rough couple of years, meaning when your mom first meets him and marries him and you're like, hey, you're not my dad, go fuck yourself. Kind I never of said you're not my dad, ever. But I definitely had that thing of like, I felt like I could see it coming. So he like sent my mother a book and I remember going, okay. And I was nine <laughs> and right. I brought her this package because, you know, it's pretty exciting when a package arrives and I, she was in the bath and I brought this package in and went, you've got a package. And then she opens it up and looks at it and goes, oh, and I'm like, what? And she goes, oh, this, this, you know, this director I just work with, he sent me this book and I'm like, he wants to, he, he wants, he fancies you, he wants to date you. No, no, no. And I knew it. Right. Um, and so I just sort of felt like this kind of inevitable. And, you know, I was at that age where I, you know, I'd been on my own with my mum for a few years. And, you know, I was at that age where, you know, boys were just gross and scary. And, you know, not only was he one, but he also had four sons and two of them were kind of around my age. And they were really like, you know, I was kind of a sort of, you know, pony riding, clarinet playing posh girl. And they were rough my <laughs> brothers um, and you didn't you want know, to be hanging were, out with those guys you probably... i was terrified like, they, they, yeah. they, i was kind of impressed by them but also kind of terrified because they were you know they i had kind of a little posh voice and they were very like you know london accent and said a lot of rude words and you know <laughs> right. it was a really big culture shock but actually for me it was great because i god knows i might have been an insufferable um little prig if i'd stayed just on my own but i le i learned how to have to you know I had to learn how to to sink or swim a bit, and it, and 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 very much ended up being really close with them, and um, to rub the corners off each other a bit in a way that I think was probably good, even though I don't think any of us would have necessarily chosen that at the time. 